Marks here and today we're making another Creatures of Scenario video. In today's video, we are actually going to be looking at Creatures of Scenario latest update, which is the plushies. Now, before we get started with the video, I would just like to quickly mention that I am now partnered with X Rocker Gaming. They're a company that has things such as amazing chairs, desk, accessories, and more, such as this chair right here, which lights up now crazy, I know, but it is lovely and nice and amazing and very soft. And if you would like one of your own, you can go down to the link down below in the description check out their website and if you find anything that you like when checking out you can use the code lyronics10 and get 10% off of any item of your choice okay so with the plushes that have actually been out for a few days now these these are not anything too big these aren't anything that is going to really change creatures of scenario at least not as i see it there could be a chance that it will later on if they do something with it but at the moment as i see it they're most likely not going to do too much with it as i see it i feel like they're just kind of here to be as little accessories in the trade world maybe to show off how much money you have i'm not entirely sure what their purpose is at the moment i know that you can have them and you can spawn them on you right now i have quite a few of them <laughs> actually and i have all three that you can get at the moment but these are the gotchas here that you can get them from it tells you right here what you can get and how many shrooms it costs there's four of these gotchas around the trade realm but they all have the same creatures so you know just just pick one they're all the same <laughs> but anyways you either have the chance of getting this common horned beetle fly who is absolutely adorable I'm just saying. You have the chance of getting this uncommon Magicorn. Really cute as well, honestly. But I honestly don't think he beats the first guy. But then we got the Ocean Wing, which I'm pretty sure is a rare. But, you know, definitely is above all. <laughs> In my opinion, it reaches number one. And you can also go here and click flip slide. And then if you have another one, you can spawn them both in like this. So, you know, <laughs> you can just have two at the same time. I love to have both the butterflies out because it just makes me feel so nice. I feel like not many people are going to use these even if they buy them. I just feel like it's kind of a thing to waste your money on but to not really care about, you know? We've also seen in the Discord that they've posted photos of there being a lot more plushes that are to come. But I'm not entirely sure, again, if that's really going to do anything for the game. I think it might just be like a filler thing to get people to use more shooms. But I really don't see it as a thing that people would be trading for or you know trying to trade creatures for him uh, that's just uh, my standpoint on these they're definitely really cute i love these two butterflies like i feel like anytime i go to the trade world i'm now gonna have these guys on me but i just i don't see them as something that you would really like trade somebody else to get something better for you know but they're definitely here and they're really cool and really cute <laughs> anyways let's go back and we're gonna actually look at some creatures because i realize i have some creatures that i haven't exactly looked at yet and you know i've been meaning to do that so that's what we're gonna do so i definitely know that one of the creatures that we haven't looked at but has been out for a while and is kind of a good creature at least from my standpoint i'd say is this guy he's been out for a while he came out in the session gotcha which is one that you have to do a lot of things to unlock and then even when spinning it there's a chance that you might get a creature that you already have and then as soon as you spin it it locks again so you have to keep doing it so definitely a tough one to get but this guy here definitely really cool i've been meaning to at least like check him out because i even <laughs> spent a whole video trying to unlock him but yeah i i just wanted to look at him because again kind of cool creature really hard to get at least from my standpoint because i'm not really good at completing those missions i mean they seem so simple like it's just eating drinking killing other creatures like it's just it's easy things that you're supposed to do in the game yet for some reason i find those difficult tasks to do and it takes me about three days to actually complete one of them which is what happened <laughs> 
Um, which is what happened in that one video I made talking about the gotcha, which was honestly kind of sad if you think about it. This guy though, really cool. I really love it when the arms and legs are like different sizes. So I really like that the two front legs are much bigger than the two back legs. Although they seem like the same type of paws, they just seem like larger size. Cause usually with creatures like these, they'll have a different type of paw from the front and then the back. Like, we've seen the Criffin who has, like, paws and then claws. So, yeah, usually we've seen, like, a mixture of two different. But these are basically the same paws, just uh, upsized. <laughs> but still really cute. This creature, I literally love. We're, we're so tiny, but we're gonna get so big. I probably won't be able to show the whole creature, but, you know. It's, it's still cool to at least look at it. I also meant to mention with the trading realm. Okay, my bad. This was this was a my bad. But now with the trading plushes thing though that I mentioned, you can also apparently trade tokens, which is a really cool thing in case you want to like age up a creature of yours without spending time in the game and without spending Robux. You can now trade for a token to boost the growth of your creature, which again, I find really helpful, really great. And you know, that is something I'll probably do a lot you'll find me training for some tokens <laughs> There's also those color tokens. There's there's quite a few tokens actually that you can get. So definitely a really cool thing. I just realized how much I love this creature's little animation. <laughs> like, I love that its mouth is all glowy. This guy's so cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? No, don't. I always like hit Q without like thinking that there's gonna be a special ability and then I let go as soon as I touch it and then when I go to touch it again, I have to wait a whole like few minutes to do it. My bad. <laughs> But yeah, those those are some new updates. Uh, new creatures, none at the moment, and I haven't heard about any or seen any. But usually, you know, we'll figure it out pretty soon if there is a new creature. But anyways, yeah. This guy, really cool. The new updates, really cool. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, good stuff. It's really good stuff. Anyways, though, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, part of Life Squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!